Hi, this is Skylar from the Sassy Q, and today I'm going to show you how to create a mock-up of a wood sign using Silhouette Studio. I have my picture here of a blank wood sign that I have purchased from uh, one of the websites like Creative Market or Design Bundles or something along those lines. But you could also take a picture of a blank sign of your own um, to create your backdrop here. Um, I also have my design already created, uh, so I'm just going to take it and literally place it over my sign on my little mock-up here. Um, you could do any color, it doesn't have to be black, so if you wanted to do like a teal color, make sure you do your lines, uh, I don't like teal, it's really dark. Uh, let's do, let's do this brown, see how that looks. Let me go back to like a dark gray. I'm really picky. <laughs> okay, so you can do it just like that. And um, make sure you place it how you want it to be placed. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Center if you want it lower or whatever. I mean, like you would literally put it where you would put it on your actual sign when you're making it. And because I've done this dark gray, um, there's not really a whole lot of, um, what am I trying to say, um, adjusting, oops, that I need to do, um, because it looks pretty flat already. Sometimes using black uh, makes it stand out a little bit more and looks more like a fake mock-up. Um, but that's basically all you have to do. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, then you go over here, you save as, and you'll save it as a JPEG. And I don't ever mess with these settings, I just leave them and hit save. Uh, if you need them a certain height or width, you could change it on there. But that is basically it, so then you can open it up as a JPEG on your computer or wherever, and use it as a mock-up to send to customers or whoever uh, you need to send this to. And that is the simple way to do it. So thank you for watching uh, this video. Please be sure to like and share and then subscribe to my channel.